actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to the world of assassination and the trending contracts. And today's contract, kill order 2-03-398-00. Dash three O, and is set in Sapienza, and the contract ID is very obviously up on the screen now for anyone who wishes to have a go at it, and has been supplied to us today, courtesy of Sandy Software Five. So on to our briefing, and there isn't one, so we'll just say that our targets today have been very naughty, and they need to be punished. And speaking of targets, today we have five of them with no stipulations on how we dispatch them or what we wear whilst we do so, so we have a free map. So for today's challenge we'll be starting at the ICA safe house where we will also have the Seeker 1 stored up and we're going to be bringing with us our silence pistol and two lethal syringes. So, right from the start and off the bat, we are going to retrieve our Seeker 1 from its briefcase here. And we're going to make our way up to Rocco's apartment and get the kitchen assistant outfit. And we're going to make our way into the Caruso Villa. And we're going to do a little bit of legwork and set up. All of our targets are actually below us on the promenade area and they are somewhat difficult to get to in certain cases. Uh, there are a lot of non-targets about. So we're gonna make our way along the uh, ledge into the pantry, through the kitchen, and into Francesca's bathroom, uh, using the alfresco dining area and over the wall to avoid the camera, in through the window, and we're gonna head now up the observatory stairs all the way up to the roof and where we are heading for is the attic so once we're up at the top we're going to head out onto the balcony and up the drain pipe onto the roof and across the roof and up the next drain pipe to the attic area there are two guards in this area whose conversation we will trigger uh, it doesn't really matter, they're easy to avoid. So we make our way into the attic, crouch down, trigger the conversation, make our way to the far side of the attic on our right, and just in a crate at the back here we will find a propane cylinder. And we are going to take that propane cylinder, and we're going to head back down to the balcony where the observatory is. So straight back out of the attic, hop down onto the lower roof and then down onto the balcony for the observatory and then directly below us at this point will be a number of our targets so we're just going to throw the propane cylinder over the edge there somewhere try not to get it caught on one of the canopies uh, anywhere down there will do and then we're going to rinse and repeat the same thing there are three propane cylinders in the attic and we are going to retrieve them all by this point you shouldn't have to worry about the two guards they should have left so we can literally just run straight in grab the propane cylinders that are by the chimney stacks and then the final fourth propane cylinder is just up on the roof there we're now going to make our way back out of the caruso villa heading down into the staff quarters to retrieve the key card we're going to head out of the promenade door now there is one enforcer out here but again very easy to avoid and here are our first two targets one drinking coffee and one smoking a cigarette so we're going to take the propane cylinder we have brought with us and place that on the table there next to the coffee drinker we're going to make our way along the promenade where we will encounter the rest of our targets and our remaining propane cylinders. So we're just going to place one on the floor here 
behind these two targets. We're going to pick up one of the other propane cylinders and you're wondering why I'm not using the syringes. Uh, I'm actually using the syringes as a backup plan as this doesn't always go correctly. There is a lot of randomness involved in this method due to the nature of the explosions. So we're going to take our propane cylinder and we're going to throw it at the feet of the smoking guard and when he loses interest and relights his cigarette he and his colleague will both be blown right across hopefully the uh, beach area. So now the panic ensues and if things fall in our favour we can take a, uh, another propane cylinder out and along with one of our targets as you can see it's looking quite favourable at that point but there were two civilians nearby who could have potentially seen us and our opportunity has now passed. So we're going to grab one of the propane cylinders and we're going to head downstairs to our next target who is down on the lower level of the promenade area and we're just going to place our propane cylinder just between the arch ahead of us just about here anywhere around there will do we're going to head back down the tunnel after making sure our target is present and he is so we're just going to head past the stairwell select our silent pistol and take one shot at our propane cylinder and our target will eventually come along and light a cigarette. Adrenaline junkie? Isn't it time you tried Ego Chaser and took things to the limit? Enjoy these sexy shots of extreme sports and base jumping. But we mostly sell energy bars to desperate middle-aged men who haven't played sports for years, but are suddenly obsessed with triathlons. Hey, you could be a super athlete. Even though you have an office job and a family you ignore, you don't have time for real friends. You're a warrior. It's an energy bar that's all about you. How big is your Ego Chaser? So eventually our target will feel the need for some nicotine and he will instantly regret that as he swan dives into the ocean there. So that's three targets dealt with and we still have the two upstairs, uh, one now downstairs as he's come running to the explosion. That leaves us with an opportunity possibly to inject our target who is upstairs still. So still it's not quite ideal, we have a couple of other guards and a civilian still in the area. So I'm just going to take up position behind my target here, we're not going to throw him over the edge, uh, that's a bit too obvious. So we're just going to wait for the civilian over here to move away. We're going to look behind us and check on the other two guards. Yeah, I think we can get away with this. The plant pot will block one of the guards' views at the very least. So down goes target number four. And that just leaves our final target who is currently on body clear up. And he is currently downstairs in the bathroom. So what we're going to do is select our final syringe. And we're going to meet him downstairs and we're going to try and take him out in the stairwell area. If we're quick enough, we might catch him just before. I think I waited too long, let's see. No, wasn't quite comfortable with the amount of time there. So we'll just get him at the top of the stairs here. So as soon as he gets to the top, we're just going to get behind him, jab him with our needle and down he goes like a tree. So all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape. Just be aware that there are still bug, uh, guards around. Some of them are enforcers uh, on body clear up. But once we hit the beach, we are safe and clear. And we're going to head for the nearest safe exit, which is the speedboat exit. So there we go. Well, one more trending contract taken care of. Uh, quite a, a fun one, very difficult. Uh, to get our targets in uh, vulnerable positions but we managed to eliminate them all according to plan and we managed to get our silent assassin rating. I have been Anubis 
and I will see you all in the next video.